Well, as you can see, winter finally arrived. So I was able to get some readings off the, the ACIQ hyperheat to see how it does in cold temperatures. It was uh, 10 degrees the night before and it was like 12 degrees last night. So I pulled some, um, some readings off that. Also I had to raise it up six inches, which I didn't realize, but it mentions this in the install manual. So I'll go over that, but here that is. I put it on six by six blocks. A little bit more into detail on that and um, how it performed. So yeah, let's start it up. So yesterday before we got snow, we got four inches of snow last night. I put some six by sixes pressure treated wood underneath the slab because there was really only like one inch of room and it needs to be up like six inches so that the the water can drain when it defrosting mode so you can see all the ice so I had it and not raised it up it would have just been sitting in the snow icing over so very important when you install these make sure it's up at least six inches or higher depending how much snow you get well yeah I'm glad I glad I did that I'm gonna shovel a little bit of snow around it because we might get more snow Friday so here's how I've been recording the the heat I got a goofy sensor tied to this supply register and this is pretty close to the the unit itself the unit is probably just under that floor there or actually it's under there because it's under the stairs so probably about 20 15 20 feet away from the from the indoor unit the air handler so that's the best reading i can get i don't have a wet bulb thing or anything like that but gives you guys an idea all right guys it's 11 degrees here so thought I'd finally make a new video we just got snow recently 11 degrees feels like three um, we got the hyperheat calling for heat it's set to 70 I warm it up from 68 in the mornings you know from overnight so I wake up to a little bit more comfortable house it's on stage two heating you can just kind of see at the bottom of the screen here and then let's see what the supply supplier is now blowing it at the top of left 95.3 it's been really cold here the past 24 hours so kind of down towards the middle the top of the line graph you can see the max is 108.8 or 101.8 sorry i just woke up um past week it's 106.3 this has been the coldest day but it's been pretty cold the past few days and then past month it was 104 max was 114.8 during the past month we've had days that are like in the 30s 40s 50s so it usually blows around 114 110 but on days like today where it's really cold snow on the ground there's a little you know frost on the condenser it blows 95.3 but still heating the house so so can't complain it's on stage two and it's 11 degrees outside and no auxiliary heat with my auxiliary heat it would be non-stop auxiliary heat right now for the past week easily all right conclusions are it did really well um obviously when it wasn't when it was warmer like 40s 50s it blew 114 degrees and then when it was in the 10 degrees it blew like 96 from the supply but it still did better than my previous heat pump which would have been just had the auxiliary heat on the entire time so really pleased with it um, it's kept the house nice and cozy um, one other thing I'm ordered a, a snow cap <clears throat> for the unit apparently you're supposed to keep the snow off of it I don't know how much that matters but better safe than sorry even though we don't get much snow here in Northern Virginia I'm gonna put all the specs of the unit itself, the house that's heating in the description below, as well as the information about the snow cap if you're interested. If you guys have any better idea on how to do the six inch lift, um, please let me know. I saw Home Depot had like a two and a half inch lift, and HVAC Direct had a four inch lift that looked pretty crappy. 
But if you guys have any other better ideas or questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks.